Hello and welcome to Thomas's Tower page with myself, Thomas Janak. I'm not in my house. Can you believe it? I'm at my friend's house. This is my friend, Ellen Cook. And we are actually working on a card deck together. You can see the artwork here already. Um, and it will be glorious because she's just an amazing artist, as you can see. And these will all be for sale eventually, or maybe they are, I don't know yet. <laughs> um, point is, there is a little, um, this a little link to um, her Facebook page or her Facebook shop rather, uh, in the description box and there will be a Kickstarter happening very soon where you can follow the progress and where you can pledge def different things to help us get that deck made, if that makes sense. Anyway, you are watching Thomas the Tower Page with myself, Thomas Janak. We are looking at the star sign of Leo for the month of June 2022. And what we will do here, we will separate the topics slightly. So we will look at the overall energy for the month of June for the sign of Leo, before we then go into the emotional core, see what's happening there. This is about uh, maybe what can go now, what is ready to be released, um, or maybe it's about love coming in. We'll see before we then lastly or finally go into the last section, which is opportunities. And opportunities for the most part are about what sustains you financially. When I say for the most part, you know, it has happened in the, in the past that sometimes they talked about something else altogether. Uh, so what you need to do, for instance, just to get any opportunities into your life. And we only work here, whatever the guides uh, show us, we say. <laughs> so we don't quite know, you know, what else is coming up. Anyway, that's that. And please like, subscribe and share. Really, really important because it helps us uh, grow the channel. Really, really important. And now let's look at the opportunities for the sign of Leo for the month of June 2022. Let's start with the overall energies. Um, the card that's come out is the Hummingbird Spirit for Joy. Uh, so if the overall energy for this coming month for Leo is joyful, that sounds like a rather nice thing to happen. Yeah. Um, basically, look for opportunities. Look for, th look for the things that actually make you joyful and follow those because those are the things that are actually going to um, increase your energy levels. Um, we're coming into the warmer parts of the year, obviously for Leos in particular, you're ruled by the sun, your energy is going up and up all the time just at the moment. So yes, search out the things that find you joy, take advantage of opportunities that come your way because you might not notice them if you're not looking for them. So this, this is quite a big thing, make certain that you've you're, got your eyes open and joy will come your way if you're able to spot it. Yes, thank you very much. And you, when it comes to your emotional core, um, the the message is or the energy is journeys end and let me just show you this journeys end and what that means is in order for you to attract and finally keep joy you have to look especially emotionally because that's the area we're in right now about things that naturally do no longer work for you right and uh, acknowledge if things have become stale and, you know, assess whether or not certain things are fixable or not with regards to your emotions, that could be um, about relationships, obviously. But the point is that it is important for the month of June with, uh, with your emotional baggage, almost, if that makes sense, to understand that if you carry stuff with you that doesn't doesn't serve you it will be difficult for you to actually feel joy and so pay attention to what can go because it goes uh, so you can feel uh, happier and ultimately are happier so quite interesting mm. right um, and then quite a bit of, of different different energy to the to the to the over energy but it's not designed to to um, lower the energy it's just understanding that if you carry stuff with you that ultimately is no longer for you then you're, you're semi-deceiving yourself, even granted it may not be so easy to let things go, right? So that was the um, emotional core for the month of June 2022 for the sign of Leo. And now we're looking at the um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of June. Let's have a look. Well, the opportunities that have come up are quite interesting. We've got, uh, first of all, we've got the Mystic Meadow card, which is about sanctuary. And this is really talking about to a certain extent, your home life and where you feel safe. Um, so the opportunities here that present themselves for you are to make certain that that safe core 
isn't restricting you too much, but is actually providing the safety you need. Safe is a funny thing because actually it can make people stop taking risks. It can make you stop looking for opportunities, which is the, point, the, the area we're discussing at the moment. If you're too safe, you're almost stale, you're almost stuck. So think about the sanctuary you have. Is it a sanctuary? Is it a prison? Because the next card that's come out is the Sacred Spring, which is all about success. So the interesting thing there is that in order to be successful, can you also be completely safe? Have you got to take those risks we were just talking about? Have you actually got to step out of your comfort zone a little bit and push yourself more into the spotlight? Now you're a Leo, so you know you should be accustomed to being in the spotlight, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so think about that. Get out of your comfort zone a bit. Push yourself forward, and that success is waiting for you at the end of this sacred spring. Yeah, and remember, because come July, we are moving into your sign, which makes your energy even stronger, if that makes sense. So everything here is designed to build, right? Anyway, see you all next month. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. And see you soon.